Hey everyone, welcome to Wine & Culture USA in Mooresville, North Carolina. My name is Christian Smedberg. I'm the marketing manager here. And a lot of you online have been asking if we could do just a virtual walkthrough of our showroom here in Mooresville. I think it's a great idea. Um, so I'm gonna take you on that journey, um, but I'm gonna need a little bit of help from our showroom guys. So along the way, we're gonna be meeting some folks uh, in our showroom here. And we're gonna just take you through machine by machine what we have on the floor and uh, why it's special, why we have it. And uh, I hope that you learned something. If you guys want any kind of special demo or like in a virtual demo or even to come here in person, get in touch with your local Weinegger Holzer rep. They'll be able to set that up for you. All right, so if you're ready, uh, follow me, let's go. Welcome everyone. This is the showroom uh, we like to call A in Mooresville, North Carolina. And as a general overview here, you can see we have a lot of machinery that's ready for demonstrations at any time. Also, and we're gonna walk you through those, but also like to look over here. This is showing some of our awards over the years. And I'm just basically gonna walk you through some of the facility area just as a general overview to show you what we do have ready to go. First thing on the map, as soon as you walk in the door, is uh, our Power Mat 700. This is a nine inch by six inch machine, fully automated, you can see on the front. Everything is uh, adjusted by the program itself. Uh, full power lock cutter heads that we're using on the machine. Okay, so this is kind of an introductory machine, some smaller markets. Uh, a lot of times it's for the uh, footprint in the shop that's available itself. The next thing we come across is, again, it's another Power Mat 700, but we do call this one a hybrid. The main catch for this one is, is that it is a hybrid between a spindled machine and a power lock machine using the HSK style tooling. Footprint is the same, the body's the same, uh, Powercom is the same, the driving system for it, but uh, just a little bit easier way to bridge the gap between someone who has an older spindle style machine and wants to get into the new technology of an HSK machine. Okay, and we're coming up to our latest machine we brought out on the floor. This is a machine we've had for a while uh, in production but we've just recently put one back in the showroom. It is called a Cube. Its sole purpose is to run any size of S4S at any time between uh, 10 and a quarter by six inches high. So anytime somebody can walk up, simply press in the size they want, the machine moves. It is super safe, nothing can happen. The hood stays locked. Uh, there's no chance for anyone getting hurt on this machine. And obviously you can see the floor print or footprint is very, very small. So as you can see over here, we've got some folks standing around uh, working on some things. They are actually here for a training class uh, that we're putting on and they will be working on the P700 here, the hybrid. But they are right now measuring some tooling and stuff and they are actually in front of our demonstration grinding room. Now as we move around the facility, you guys will see some carts of lumber sitting around and stuff. This is actually some material we're waiting to run for a customer. You've got to get the right information from them, create the right tooling and do the testing. So in here, it's a little bit of a wreck right now. We're doing a lot of moving around, but we have a Ronda Mat 960 grinder for grinding your knife steel, be it uh, high-speed steel, carbides, uh, whatever you have going there, as they call it, a profile grinder. And also our Ronda Mat 1000, the full CNC grinder, where we can grind from a blank piece of knife steel to a completely finished, uh, ready to go on the machine running tool or we can do resharpens from there, um, all automatic. And these items over here, we have a, a, a measuring stand that takes the information from the tool as we create it. This system here is called Molder Master. It is actually the driving force behind the CNC grinder, whereas we are generating the CNC code over here and sending out to the grinder. So just moving across the floor a little bit more. Next in line is our Power Mat 1500. This machine, <clears throat> as it sits on the floor, is a seven spindle machine. Traditionally, it would be a six as a stocking item for us, but it is spinning at 12,000 RPM using the same type of HSK tooling. So you see how much smaller the head is. 
So we now can spin that head much, much faster, therefore creating more throughput on the machine. This one also has a hopper feeder that moves with the system. You can see most everything is being driven by Powercom. Also, all CNC controls on the front end, and we have specialized what we call vario hoods on the two tops and or left. Okay, moving on down the line. And again, all of these machines are demo ready. So what we come to here is a very basic machine, kind of our starter machine. We offer this in a five and a six spindle. It is called a Unimat 218. It's an old traditional style machine to where as you have mechanical counters, no computers involved whatsoever. We just crank it into position, kind of old school setups, but still very, very useful. Okay, now moving along. <clears throat> This is our new Hydromat 3000, excuse me. Uh, it is the same size of a six spindle machine, just like the others that we looked at, but you can see the footprint is much, much larger. Uh, even just sneaking up here a little bit, looking inside the glass, we can see the feed rollers themselves are very, very large. And what we have the capability of doing is running 12 inches wide, and on this particular machine, over 300 feet a minute. So this is what we call a jointed machine. Uh, we do have automation on the two tops in the feed beam and also for our left head so we can quickly use the Powercom system and run several different profile or sizes of uh, particular unit. On the front end you can see because we're running so quickly on a machine like this we always have to have some sort of a mechanized in feed system to deal with getting the boards in the machine, keeping them butt to butt so we have good continuous product out the end. Even though we're talking a very fast machine, uh, we do not sacrifice finish quality whatsoever. So that's kind of it for the molder side. And I'm gonna hand it off to a couple of my colleagues, Mr. Andy Turner and Michael Mushkin. Good afternoon. I'm Andy Turner, VP of Sales here at Wine & Coulter US. Hey guys, my name is Michael Mushkin. I'm uh, the product manager here at uh, Wine & We're gonna continue on through the tour, our highly anticipated tour of the showroom. All right, so uh, the machine behind us is uh, the S90 Speed. Uh, this is a, um, a one of our high-speed uh, push feed saws. As you can see, it has a um, lateral chain feeder that helps with getting the material uh, in the machine. Uh, this machine is all, has also the a high, precision, high precision package, so it's mainly used uh, for cabinet parts or uh, interior exterior doors. Um, walking along the machine, we see it has uh, the machine is equipped with an outfeed belt and kickers, a sorting station, so the parts, whenever they're cut to the certain length, the uh, correct ejector will um, kick the part out um, into a cart or uh, uh, some, sort of, uh, uh, some sort of sorting station. Um, continuing uh, our tour here, we are coming to our next crosscut saw. This is the um, S50. This is more of our uh, entry level uh, crosscut saws. As you can see, it's a, a push feed saw as well. Uh, material is uh, put on the infeed table. Uh, the pusher feeds it through the machine and the, um, the upcut saw basically uh, comes up and cuts the material to the length, uh, whatever is determined um, from our cut list. And with that, we're going to leave showroom A and we're moving right into showroom B where we start to have machines from both Holzer and from the Weiner Group. Um, in addition to, right here, you can see that we have a demonstration going on right now. We've been doing a lot of virtual or video demonstrations. We have one going on right now for the Kundig Sander. This is the, uh, the Kundig Technic, the three-head machine, where the third head is a brilliant head. And then there is also the brushing that happens at the end of it. So it's great for cabinet doors. You can see they're actually running the door right now. We also have a Kundig Edge Sander, the, the, uh, the unique Edge Sander. We do a great business with Kundig. Uh, we like their machines a lot. You can see here we also uh, are set up to do more Holzer equipment. Um, we have the Holzer Stormaster, the 5110. Uh, this is a smaller version of it. If you saw it in production, you've, you've typically seen larger versions of it, but this works out well for showing uh, proven concept. We have it, uh, you can tell that it's being loaded, or it's loading a, a, a beam saw and a CNC router. We'll tell you a little bit more about those as we walk around the corner.
quickly, I'll tell you about these, and then we'll get to some of these machines on this side. It's the 61, or excuse me, the 6215, the Zentrex beam saw, one of the larger beam saws that Holster has to offer. And before we go to the next one, why don't we, let's make a little more efficient use of our time here. Let's head this way. Back in the back, we have another holster machine. This is kind of where the solid wood and the panel processing comes together. Uh, this is a, the ProMaster 7125 point-to-point -point machine that also has a five-axis head, five-axis router spindle. Uh, used a lot in solid wood. Can be used for, for, uh, for sure in cabinet manufacturing as well for line drilling, doing secondary processes after the parts come off of a beam saw but it is used a lot in solid wood for doing your uh, hinge prep, lock set, things like that on passage doors, uh, doing the joinery, some of the, uh, the joinery that might be used, different types of joinery, French miter, uh, lock set, or uh, 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 dowel construction, uh, mortise and tenon construction, things like that. All right, um, right behind us, uh, we have uh, our, we're coming to our uh, high speed uh, cross cut scanning section. So again, we have a lateral chain feeder here on the side here in the middle, that big box, that's uh, our uh, Combi Scan Evo, that's a uh, um, cross-cut scanner from LuxScan. It is connected to our uh, Dimter uh, OptiCut 450 Quantum. So this is actually the fastest cross-cut saw uh, in the market. Uh, it cuts the pieces very precise uh, through the result that the scanner uh, gives the saw. There's also the screen. That's right. So if we look at the screen here, we can see the image that the scanner uh, produced. Um, there's uh, a lot of different recipes and, uh, and parameters that can be set by the operator depending, uh, depending on the wood species and the product that he's running. All right, in this little corner here, in between those two machines, uh, we have our uh, trophy joint finger joiner. Um, so this is basically just a small demonstration area to show uh, what Weinig has to offer uh, for an uh, entry-level finger joiner. Tell us about the Easy Stop, Michael. All right, so here we see our Easy Stop. Um, the Easy Stop is basically a small um, half automated positioning system. It can be, uh, it can be basically positioned uh, with almost every manual machine um, that, that our customers have. As we see it here, we're using um, a manual chop saw so the Easy Stop, uh, it can be connected also to the company network. It's, uh, it, it can import a, a cut list uh, uh, from, an uh, from an office desktop. The positioning pusher here will then, uh, according to the cut list, uh, pos uh, position the material, and the material can be cut manually by the operator. And it can be also, um, the Easy Stop can also be set on, a, let's say, a table saw or a radial arm saw, for example. Here in the front, we have our uh, Dimter Optica 260. This is another uh, through feet uh, cross cut saw. Um, as you can see, through feet because we're having a belt. Material is set on the belt. The belt transports the material through the saw. With a through feet saw, we usually get much higher speeds compared to a, a push feet saw because we don't have the pusher that needs to run back and forth. Um, this saw is also equipped with an uh, outfit belt and uh, three kickers. Uh, so. Um, whatever the saw cuts will be ejected and then uh, and, and then can be further processed. Moving right across the aisle here we have the 7405 Evolution from Holter. This is a vertical CNC router so it, uh, it kind of acts like a point-to-point. -point. You have a part, a part will be pre-sized on another machine, you bring it to the machine and now using very uh, a very small footprint you can do those secondary processes to your parts, the line drilling, the dados, the any, uh, maybe grooves for backs, things like that. There are also some new ways to do larger parts. You can actually do some, uh, do some work on passage doors with the newer versions of the Evolution. Uh, it can take advantage of different ways to use some of the new fastener systems as well. Uh, programs, uh, macro driven right out of the Evolution to be able to uh, accommodate that very easily. Then we come here, before when we showed you the, uh, the store master, we, we talked about the CNC that was connected. We have our 7235, 7532, excuse me, 72, 7532 uh, dynastic machine from Holter. This is the newest nested base machine uh, from Holter. Uh, it loads directly from the store master. It has the push 
option, which would push the parts off once the parts are, are complete onto the outfit conveyor, and now the operator can stand at the end and pull off completed parts. And again, this is a nested base machine, so it can take full sheets, uh, and then the machine nests the parts, uh, cuts all the parts from the full sheet, and you have completed parts at the end of the line. Also in this work cell here, we have uh, another edge bander. We have a 1308 XL edge bander. Uh, this gives us a little area, a very, uh, it gives us the ability to show off a lot of manufacturing technology in a small space. 1308 is uh, probably number one or number two in the, uh, as far as the volume of machines that we sell here with Winding Hole through U.S. All right, right behind us, we have here our little uh, a beach area that you do, uh, where we do some meetings and things like that. On two left of it, we're coming to our uh, rip saw section. So right here in front of us, uh, we have our um, the rip scanner, Easy Scan RT. Um, it is uh, uh, compared to uh, to a crosscut scanner. The um, rip scanner scans the board um, along the grain. Um, it is then connected, the rip scanner is connected uh, to a, a Profi Rip 340 rip saw. This is, uh, we see it in the back here. That's a um, three movable blade rip saw. Um, and then it goes right onto an outfeed system. And um, in the front here, we have our, our, our uh, Varrier Rip 310 2M. This is a two movable blade rip saw. It is connected to the uh, Value Rip Compact infeed system. Uh, the big benefit of that is that uh, on an um, infeed system like that, I'm not sure if you guys saw the video that, uh, that that Travis did the last couple of days, but that was very, that was a very good and very impressive video that he he put together here. Uh, one of the key benefits with an infeed system is that we're getting the operator out of the kickback zone uh, in front of the saw, so the material is loaded from here and then uh, move with the chains towards the movable fence. It's, uh, the uh, input system is making the optimization and then the movable, uh, the movable saw blades inside the saw are positioning the saw blades to give you the best yield. All right. Back this way. Check out, we, we've got the vertical panel saw. So here we have the 1260 vertical panel saw. It's more technology that allows us to do a lot of manufacturing in a small footprint. So here you take the sheet, Put it on its edge. You can then uh, you're not taking up as much space. You can be able to you can handle a full sheet of material. Then you can take it to an edge bander or, or through the vertical CNC. Don't save a, don't waste a lot of space. So we have uh, one more little machine in the back. It's against the wall. It's also a very rip 310, uh, two movable blade rip saw. Uh, that that saw we have it back there because it's basically a standalone machine. Uh, so the operator would stand behind the machine. It has automatic width measuring on it, so with the optimization software, you put the board on, the saw is uh, adjusting the saw blades correctly, and then you're ripping your material. And then right across uh, from our rip saws, we're coming to our edge banders. Here we have four more edge banders. We showed you the 1308 that was in the work cell before. Here we have a range uh, going from the 1057 to the 1329 to the 1598, which is the largest edge bander that we, that we have. It's also one of the Lumina. Uh, we also have our entry level uh, 1052 against the wall over there, so we can show a wide range of, uh, of edge bending technology. 1598, is, as I said before, it's also the Lumina. And we are able to show, show the Lumina as far as being able to show the different types of glue you would use, or the NIR. Also the quick change between the cartridges. You see we have the carriages back behind it. So there's not much that we can't show between the four edge banders we have here and the one that we have uh, in showroom B. And earlier we talked about moving from showroom A into showroom B. Now we are actually standing in showroom C. All in, we have a total of about 25,000 square feet of showroom. And you can see that uh, I didn't count, but we're somewhere in 35-ish machines, I think. Um, so we have the ability to show technology for any any process, any application that you might uh, need machinery for. Hey guys, um, and as you can see, as we're walking through the showroom, as you can see, uh, we are here at Winiculture. We're fully operational. We have demos almost every day. That's why, that's when, when we walk through the showroom, 
uh, you might see some material uh, or packages laying around and that's actually from our demos that we're doing every day in here. True, we should mention that because we did see some messes. We had demos on these edge banners this morning, a wide range of demonstration on all four machines. That's why we see some material here. We've had, we, you saw the demo we had going on with the, uh, the Koenig Sander earlier. That one happened to be virtual. This one earlier this morning was in, in person. Uh, we've had other machines. We had another machine on a motor this morning that was in person. Yesterday we had four customers in the building. So we're doing all that we can to be ready to accommodate you whether you want to see the, the, the demonstration virtually, as you saw on the Koenig. We can do it uh, kind of the way we're doing this video or we can, we can accommodate you live. We have masks that are available if that makes you feel more comfortable. We have gloves that are available. We can do whatever would, uh, would allow you to feel more comfortable during the current situation. So we hope that you will, will join us, that you'll contact us, and uh, take advantage of all of the technology that we have here to show. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much.